good eating, folks. Today we're gonna do something just a teeny bit different. Today I'm down at the river, and there is a new bait that's on the market that is one of the hottest baits that I've seen in a while. This is a bait that made it across the ocean from Japan to America, and everybody is saying it is one of the best smallmouth baits on the market. So I said, let's try. The bait, I don't even know that I can say its name, but the bait that I'm referring to is this. This is a Yamatanuki, Yamatanuki. And this is a stick bait of sorts. They come in two different sizes. It's a 2.5, that's a 2.5. And then there is the 3.5. We are going to put the Yamatanuki to the test today. One lure, all I'm using all day to see if it is the hottest smallmouth bait on the market. We go! I wanted to show a rigging because the, the, the rigging on these is very simple. Uh, I've got several different colors. I think I've got. I've got four, four different packs here, different sizes, different colors. I'm gonna try the biggest one first, and it is the 3.5. I'm gonna start with that. If that, if I'm short striking, if they're not reacting good, I'm gonna go to the 2.5. But let me show you how you rig this up. One other little change you're gonna see me today is I'm going bait caster in the river. Rarely ever do it, but this is a heavy bait. Uh, I'll put some specs up if I can find them on this bait the specs on the weight and stuff like that okay all you need to rig this it is a very very simple rigging very simple rigging all you need to get this bait on your line is that right there one extra wide gap hook they make a few different options i like gamakatsu i'm a gamakatsu guy so let me show you we got our hook we're going to tie the palomar knot Here's your quick, here's your quick Palomar knot tutorial. If you don't know it, learn it. It's the best hook there is. Double your line. Some people run it through the hook eye. I normally just pinch mine together like that right there. Pinch that, run it through that hook eye, or it's like that. Make a simple knot. Make a simple knot. That's your loop. That's your loop. Run that over the hook pull wet it done bite the tag you're done palomar knot on the hook now the one i'm going to go with is the 3.5 inch yamatanuki the color is a watermelon black and red flake and that right there is that bait out of the pack Looks like a bowling pin or something. I don't know what it mimics. I have no clue, but you'll see in the bait, there's two there's two deep ridges. And all you do is take your extra wide gap hook, run it through, run it, just skin hook it like that, out that, push it up, rotate it. So that's what you're looking at. See where it needs to go in at, and boom, you're done, it's rigged. That right there, that's it rigged. So the hook is slightly uh, under that in that little thing there. So we're gonna we're gonna toss this out. It's the only bait I'm using today, and we're gonna see if it is the greatest smallmouth catcher of all time. There is big smallmouth that live right where I'm fishing. So let's see. That I'm using a bait caster is this is a heavy bait. It's a heavy bait, and I don't know if my little spinning combo would would be able to set the hook on it like I need to, so. It is a fast sinking bait. And you work it, you work it about like you would a, uh, like a tube. And what I'm gonna do is get it going right down the middle of this stuff here. Right there. Yamatanuki. I'm gonna insert some underwater footage of this bait right here. 
you can see how slow this bait falls and that little appendage just kind of wiggles as it goes down just hop it like a jig or a tube however you want to work it just something slow it's a different presentation there's a bite oh i just got bit uh oh vegan oh it's hung on something gotta go oh it's hung on something dude what are you hung on got him no i see the fish though it's a big one. Oh, it come loose big fish oh it didn't come loose come on got him there come loose right there this is a big small mouth big small mouth oh it's hung again well, it just popped off it did no no it didn't dude this is a hoss I have to go for it. I'm gonna get wet. What are you hung on? Come on. Dude, this is a whopper smallmouth. I'm not kidding you. Let's see if it'll swim free. Okay, I think it's off now. For sure. Ah! It's still on there. Dude, this is the craziest. It's hung up. So far, so good. That fish, back up. That fish come out of that deep hole and smack that lure. I'm telling you. I would say the audio on the GoPro is going to be bad from here on but I had, to get, I had to get underwater to get it but dude that bass crushed it them Japanese folks might know what they're doing look at that Mwah. gone this video is sponsored by mystery tackle box if you don't know who mystery tackle box is you ain't been fishing very long because they've been around and have been an excellent partner for people like me for years now this is my July box it's busted open Let's see what we got First of all, little square bill, the Z Swimmer. That is a arc, that's an arc uh, swim jig. We got some big old crawdads. Man, bite that, put that on the back of a jig. Big ones, comes at least four inches. We got some Z Man, a last tech, uh, it's like a fluke, but it's their uh, Elastec version. And we got the Z-Man Hellraiser. Yeah. Hey, they named it that. Blame me. That is one of the funkiest looking top water baits I've ever seen. So, that's at least six, seven inches there. That's a monster. What else? And we got the hooks. So if you're not subscribed to Carl's, use my code, get your first box for as little as $10, and then from there on, they will deliver it to your house, your mailbox, by the road, by the creek, wherever you want them to throw it, they will throw it your way. Oh, I just got blistered. Oh. Oh. And this is kind of what I was afraid of in the river is this bait the 3.5 just being a little too big but I'm gonna I may switch to the uh, 2.5 here in just a second all I'm doing is just barely popping my rod up and down just lightly give the bait a little action let's switch up sizes we're gonna go ahead and switch up to the smaller one. Now I'm switch. I'm going down to that one out, uh, one out extra wide gap hook. Smaller bait, smaller hook. I'm getting a lot of hits on the bigger bait, but they're not connecting. So I'm hoping 
the smaller bait will at least catch more fish as far as the hookup ratio. The question it will be is can I cast it? <laughs> Got it. No, oh, it spit it. No, it didn't. Good one. Looky there. It's bigger than the first one. It's got number two on the smaller size, the 2.5 inch, that little pink looking one. Just that one. That one crushed it. And that swift moving water like that. Excellent. Love it. Got him. There's that one, number four or five, I don't know. Man, they are killing it though. I've only been out maybe 30 minutes or so. They are enjoying the yakka, yakka, yakka nookie. Yak and, yak, the Yamato yak. Let's go with that. Interesting. Well, that one just bit it and said, forget you, buddy. You ain't got time to set the hook. Well, bam, gone. Thank you for the bait. Four or five. The first one... <laughs> The first one was good, it got hung up. There's a stump over there, and I had to about go under to get it off of it, so. Probably five, the first one was the biggest. Well, second one may have been bigger, I don't know, but. It's all small jaws, yeah. Yeah. See you, bud. It's a good one. Just caught another one. This is a little small one. I switched to that smaller bait, the uh, green pumpkin with blue flake. And these guys, man, they're picking it up and they're crushing it. Might be the best bait for smallmouth right now. I don't know. It's working today. There he is, folks. Let's let him go. Guys, all I'm doing is casting that bait near that swift water. Uh, letting the current kind of take it down and just popping it every, every now and again. Sometimes I'm just letting it set. It just depends on what I feel like doing with it. I've got several hits though coming right down the alley. Like right there, coming on down. Got him! There you go. Look her. Little dude. What's he doing over here? Got him. I'm doing nothing with these. I'm just letting it set and watching my line. And I'll get a bite and the line just pops real heavy. Little dude, but spunky. That's it, folks. Am I willing to say that the Yamataniku is the best smallmouth bait ever? No, I'm not willing to say that. Uh, caught a lot of fish today on it. This is all I used all day, maybe uh, filmed for just a little bit. It caught fish consistently. If I was using it, they were biting it. But you got the Ned Rig, you got the drop shot, you got the jerk bait, which is all smallmouth killers, the drop shots, the flukes, the whatever. But what I will say, this is an amazing lure. And if you throw this into your rotation of smallmouth baits, this will guarantee you catch more fish. It's a different presentation. There is nothing that I have ever used that looks like it. It looks like a bowling pin. I've never used the action. You saw the underwater footage. It's just kind of, they, they have to eat it. It's so heavy and it's got so much salt in it. 
that it sinks, you're getting a reaction, bam, they come get it. So pick you up some of these, try them for your smallmouth, and you will be impressed. Uh, right out of the pack, I wasn't impressed, but this right here does catch smallmouth. Subscribe to the channel. We are on the quest for 3,000 subscribers, and we need every one of you to hit the red button. We appreciate all of our longtime watchers. We appreciate everybody that's hit the bell, that's hit the subscribe button. We appreciate you. Remember, you are a champion. We gone.